Imposter syndrome is hitting hard. I can't believe I have this in the room. As an artist, this Orange Storm gig is going to help me make bigger sculptures. This printer was smashed this out of the park. When I freestyle sculpt this on my iPad, I have to break it up into pieces and then print it in multiple pieces and then gluing it together and then having all these seams is not enjoyable for me. A lot of the decorative sculptures that I've created are printed in multiple pieces. People are like, yo, make sure you update the firmware. It already comes with the updated firmware. With the touch of a button, I could just level it. I push it up against one of the corners of the room. One day I want a real big workshop. Once the plate is heated, it goes through its automatic leveling. There's like over 100 points where it levels. And then customize the Z offset with a sheet of paper, making sure it just scratches the paper a little bit. I use this ladder to get the filament on the spool. Reach over and put it on. It goes through the runout sensor and right to the extruder head. I like it, it's so simple. I guess when they tested the machine, they used green filament. The filament runs straight down, which is good. Just look at that leveling with those four plates. That's amazing. Oh yeah. I think we're running a 0.6 nozzles, but there's a whole bunch of them like this 1.0 millimeter. We'll run a test print. I hope I did the leveling right. The screen is massive. Then I could turn off the adjustable speed. This is not the ad video I want to do yet. I'm just documenting what I'm doing. Make sure it works before I tell anybody to go buy it. I guess a lot of people are having problems with the first versions that are coming out. I was born in the year of the hair, so I'm pretty good. Pretty sure it'll work out really well for me. So far, it's printing amazing. With my first 3D printer ever, I printed a small Buddha. So I'm feeling real nostalgic right now. All the hardware is incredibly built and everything is lubed up to the max. While that prints, I'll be using the Elegoo slicer, which is like an orca based slicer. So we're going to print one of my masks, only mask number one, like a big one. It's going to take like two days to print and it'll take 4,300 grams of filament, which is like, I don't know, 4.25 rolls. I guess I did a good job leveling. The Buddha came out amazing. So clean. I'm impressed. Are you impressed yet? Don't worry, I'm gonna print a lot of big things with this, so save your monies, wait until I print. I guess this printer's on back order, so whatever. I'll run the mask and periodically update you. I hope the algorithm brings you back. 